Monster shape. <laughs> That's him. <coughs> That's him, mate. And that's Michael Jackson. <laughs> and that, <laughs> it's like a shark. Oh, bro. Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. And uh, in today's video, I'm gonna create what is, in my opinion, the most exciting player in this year's NFL Draft class on a rugby video game and see what happens. The player I'm talking about, if you didn't know already, is Jonathan Taylor. Uh, he went 42nd pick to the Indianapolis, blah, 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 Indianapolis Colts. Uh, he's a running back. And, uh, well, I can't wait to see him play. But first, the first thing we're going to do is, because of his Madden 21 ratings just having been dropped, I'm going to grab those, chuck them in here. We're going to create the most lifelike version of Jonathan Taylor we can, and then we're going to put him as inside centre in a game of rugby with the All Blacks against the USA Eagles. If you're interested in this kind of content, if you love PS4, definitely follow me on Twitch. When the PS5 comes out, I'm going to be getting it. When the next rugby game comes out, I'm going to be getting it. And when Madden 21 comes out, I'm going to be getting it. So if you want to follow me on Twitch, through PlayStation, through the PlayStation Network, add me. And with that being said, let's get into it. Wow. Yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane It's quite go get it like me Whoa Please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah Jonathan And I think we'll be in luck with this one Because the last name is going to be in the database yes it is so if Taylor gets the ball he's gonna call Taylor which is great uh, age well I hate to think actually um, yeah he's 21 21 short years actually what's the youngest you can be <laughs> you can be 17 on this game holy shit 21 okay footedness yep all good USA We're going to go African. We're going to go... Yeah, we're going to go inside center. So basically, you know, if all goes well, we're going to have sort of, you know, college players on the bench and NFL players starting. So if our boy, Jonathan Taylor, is going to be playing inside center, that means that he's going to be replacing, if need be, Saquon Barkley. <laughs> okay, inside center. Let's get to the stats. Okay, so he comes in at an overall of 73, and I, I I, dare say that the overall on the rugby game is going to be a fair bit better than that. But, with fitness, I mean, he takes he takes 300 carries a fucking year. Um, we're going to go, I'm going to go 90. Speed, 93. Acceleration, 92. And I'm not surprised. <laughs> Aggression. What do we got here? Strength, awareness, agility, catching, carrying. I'm going to say 80 aggression. Agility, 84. We'll keep that consistent. Uh, break tackle. You know, I'm going to I'm going to go I'm going to go out on a limb here and go 90. Uh, tackling. We haven't seen him tackle. I'm going to I'm going to say 50. Passing. Seventy-five. Offloading, seventy-five. He is a replacement. We can't have him being too good. General kicking. I, I don't think he kicks the ball. We're going to go 50. Goal kicking will bring right down. He doesn't want to be doing goal kicking. We'll go 25. Catching. Um, well, he wasn't that much of a receiving running back, but I, I dare say he will be. We're going to go 85. Strength. What have we got? 73. That's, that's a bit low. But we're doing this as per the Madden rating, so it's all good. Mental agility. Uh, what do we got here? We've got we've got an awareness of 74. So I'm going to go I'm going to go 74. And discipline. I do know that academically he performs, so we're going to go. You know, I'm going to put that up to I'm going to put that up to 80. Jumping. We'll keep it 50. Okay. 
is the fun part. Okay, now the one thing we're going to have to make real consistent, or try to, the one thing I'm going to try and do, which I haven't done before, is actually edit his nose. I believe his ears are pretty much exactly the same as what we see here, but his nose is not. So, let's see what we can do here. I have never tried to do this before. Uh, okay, um, shit, um, um, no, not that one, no, not that one, no. Nostril shape. <laughs> That's him. <coughs> That's him, mate. <laughs> and that's Michael Jackson. <laughs> and that <laughs> it's like a shark. Oh, bro. Fucking hell. <laughs> I mean, I could have been changing all this stuff before, I suppose. I just, I just wasn't. Um, he's got some traps. We'll bring it in a bit. Skull width and height. I don't know. He's got a pretty flat sort of head, head shape. Yeah, all good. Um, next. First thing we have to do is change eye color to that. Complexion, all good. Let's have a look at you, mate. I reckon that kind of looks like you. We'll stay with that. Um, right, crop cut. Black hair, black hair. As per usual, a little bit of a something something. Oh, it's changing the nose shape. Black hair, and we're going to look for something with a little, a little bit of length on top, just a wee bit, nothing crazy. Possibly even like that, yeah. Um, or is that Jonathan Taylor? I'm going to go that one. 178 and 103 kg. So we're going to go down to 178. We're going to go across. Boom. 178 and 103. Torso. I'm just going to do this from my own knowledge bank. Small, yep, defined, all good, yep. Arms, 178, 103 kg, he's gonna be pretty fucking tank. Um, yep, we're gonna go big legs, because he does have massive legs. Keep it like that, okay. As you guys should know now, we're gonna go purple boots, we're gonna go uh, purple sleeves, which look incredible. And uh, we're not going to do any tattoos, so there we go. We're going to exit that, save, and that is your boy, Jonathan Taylor, as a rugby player. So, sorry, first thing we're going to do is pull him up here. Okay, so he's got a 73 overall rating in Madden. And if we, if we have a quick look here, boom, there he is. 89 rated rookie. Jonathan Taylor, the 21 year old. Okay, boom. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna chuck him in at inside center, which means we're gonna have to take Ma'anono off the field, put Jonathan Taylor on, and see exactly how he goes. Now for second five, second five eight, inside center, is, you know, I'm finding with the way that this game is made, and also the way that the All Blacks team, through default settings, play the game, because because not only can you create players and change your roster and do all that kind of thing, but I've actually become aware that you can change the way that the, the game is played by the particular team. So if I was gonna, like let's say, do a, a season or something, if I was gonna take this really seriously, not only would I change the team lineup, but I'd also go in on the back end and change exactly how the team plays. And it's really in depth, it's really interesting. So I haven't been bothered to do it yet, but if I was gonna take this really seriously, I'd definitely do that. And that is the kind of thing that on the other side of it, 
if you're playing Madden, that's the kind of thing if you, you know, know the players, know the game, you would do. But it's also the kind of thing that I'm just not experienced enough on Madden and with the game of American football to do. You know what I mean? But I can do it in the rugby game, so that's cool. And with that being said, I'll see you there. Peace out. The USA are one of the real improvers in world rugby. With some famous upset victories in their history, not a team to be taken lightly. The All Blacks have to be the clear favourites going into this. They're clearly in a different class. And with me in the box, Justin Marshall. Should be pretty easy to pick the winner of this match. Absolutely. We've seen some great rugby from these teams before. There's a bit of a buzz around the stadium as we wait for things to get going. With these two teams and their talent, we should be in for a special day. And now, the Haka. The ground is still shaking. What a hunter. Standing by for the referee to get us started here. And this contest is underway. Coleman to secure this. So they look to try something with a maul. And it's there now. Abbott sets it up. I believe they've kept this for USA. Barry gathers it out of the back. Now taken down hard. Chase pops it up. Davis has pulled down in a glorious tackle. Good contest, but it's still theirs. Thanks with a little pick and go. Turnover. Great work at the breaking. Takes it up over the 22 meter line. That'll knock the wind out of him. Sam Whitelock gives it off now. The bounce is favourable. Flat pass. Your blacks force him out. And that's a line out. One against the throw. Trying to get a drive going here. Banks controls it as they try for a few more yards. He gets crunched to the ground. Grabs the ball and runs at the defence. It's there. Johnson takes it out of the bat. Paul goes running hard at the opposition. Banks gets the ball away. Takes it on the bounce. Fekatoa is chasing after this. Sends a good pass. Davis dragged down in a nice tackle. Ruck is formed. He has to release. That is a thunderous punt. Look at that. Smith gets the loose ball. Tackle not complete. Keeps going. The ball is in touch. Not his best throw. On comes the drive. Sam Whitehall can see it in there. Passes delivered inside. Well contained. Aaron Smith has the ball. Reed has got a bit of room here and off he goes. Takes it up to the 22 metre line. A key back to his feet quickly and wrestling for the ball. Real chance here. 
He's over. Well, how significant a try will that be? What a finish. Shot at goal, still to come, and chance for another two points. This should turn into an easy seven points with the conversion. No trouble with that, two more points. the kickoff. The kickoff snapped up. McCaw with a good darting run. And over the sideline. American line out ball. <laughs> Banks claims it. Banks stretching it. And it was a forward pass. So they'll come back for the scrum. When he looks back, he will realise he's made a horrible mistake. First scrum of the match. Find. Set. Aaron Smith rolls it in. Good pushing from both teams. Dan Carter pumps the legs with a good charge. Breaks the tackle and pushes on. Now flat. Probing run towards the line. That try was worth the price of any entry ticket. That's what they were looking for. A beautiful try, no doubt about it. What a try. He's been excellent. It was a beautifully timed run. And the gap, well, it just opened up. Yep, totally agree. Here comes the conversion. And you'd have to say two more easy points coming here for the All Blacks. Edwards makes the restart. Conrad Smith takes in the kickoff. It was a good catch under pressure. You've got to be calm in those situations. And he did it well. He's chucked a beautiful pass inside. Decides to have a go himself. Release. You have to release the ball now. He keeps the ball moving. That'll knock the wind out of him. Tremendous tackle there. He's stolen it. Aaron Smith is absolutely smashed. Finds a player with a short pass. Knock on was the call. So he's playing advantage here. Yeah, the ball just came loose in the tackle there. He just couldn't control the ball. 14-0 at half-time, your Blacks with the lead.
We have a full house here in Domain Stadium. This match has been highly anticipated. Great performance by the All Blacks. They've owned almost every part of the pitch in the first half. So discipline a bit of a problem in this match so far. We go to the stats now. You can see here how they're dominating the territory stakes. The second half is underway. Kickoff taken in. Adams pulled down there. Having a go at the ball. Gilmore finds support. And a good follow-up here from Coleman. Smith decides to let that one bounce. He's got that one in the end. Now the chaser is coming forward onto this. He's beaten two. Lovely footwork there. Fins, but is tackled. Holding onto the ball until the support arrives. Reed gets it away. Back he goes. Shut down with a brutal tackle. Release. He's trying to turn it over quickly. He pushes it on. Support there. Conrad Smith going for a big run there. They need to tighten up their defence. Just too many holes. Too many players being let through. For the corner. Oh, they were never going to catch him, and that's a brilliant try. Simply magical, folks. He's a match winner, this young man. Dead right. You can see his pace here. It is remarkable. No one could catch him. But it was a great pass that set him up. Conversion coming up. The conversion now, and he should be able to land this one, even though there's a bit of an angle on it. Right, here's the kick. Oh, and I think this is going to miss. Away to the left. I think he just needs to settle himself down and get his timing right, Nisbo. So the kickoff is made. Kickoff dragged down. The white block giving the defence something to think about. Looks like they've lost this. Advantage. Knocked on by the number 15. Advantage applies here. He just lost the ball in that impact, really. It was good defence on him, though. Richie McCaw has it now. Wyatt Crockett claims the loose ball. It's into touch. It's been brought back for the scrum. Crouch. Now the scrum to pack. Bind. They're playing well at the moment. Set. Furious looking scrum down there. defence I think they've taken a lot of confidence out of the way they played the game so far well, it's Brock. goes off running hard at them and he's into touch <laughs> the line out claimed against the throw now he gets the ball away Conrad Smith going deep. So we should come back for the scrum here. Crouch. Now we'll have a scrum. Find. Set. And a good battle going on here. Both teams putting pressure on. <laughs> Straight 
strong defence. And he's lost the ball forward. Referee playing advantage here. In my view, it was a clear knock on, Nisbo. Lovely tackle. He looks for runners. Stopped in a textbook tackle. Their performance is incredible in this game so far. So, unable to work it, and they'll come back for the scrum instead. There's Ouch. going to be a scrum. Fine. The scrum is pretty tight in this game. No Set. one will give an inch here. And a good battle going on here. They're putting a fairly strong performance in, which is definitely encouraging. Steps back inside and beats the tackler. A good putt by Picatour. Johnson lets it bounce. He pushes it on. That's a lovely pass. Abbott scampers ahead. Passes the 22. Oh, they've only got a few minutes to make something. That's a very flat pass. Edwards doesn't let him get away. Good tackle. Davis gets the ball to his support player. Big, big charge. Now flat. Adams can't beat his man. Now he gets the ball away. Good defence. Having a go at the ball. Breaks through. Abbott makes the tackle. Brody Retallick feeds it off. Punch to ground. Liam Messam takes some stopping in that run. And that's the game. The All Blacks victorious over USA. The All Blacks get the win. An absolutely brilliant game of rugby. Comfortable winners in the end. They did good work with controlling the field this game. They barely gave an inch. The high turnover count was definitely a problem for them. While we know there's never a foregone conclusion in rugby, this result is pretty much as we predicted it. So, final score here, New Zealand, with the win 19-0. That's all we've got time for. See you next time.